Hello, hello, and welcome to Game Beta Disc Plays Diablo 4. It has been almost three years since I last uploaded a video, I believe, where I was playing Long Dark. Um, a change of pace. I'm looking at Diablo 4 now. Um, I picked this game up on release, uh, played it for a little bit wasn't a huge fan i think i enjoyed it it was it was okay but it definitely didn't have the depth uh, level of depth as something like path of exile or grim dawn um but i picked it up again in i think it's season two the season of blood and i've been playing it for the last few weeks and i've actually been pretty happy now i did do some recording for you guys a, a little while ago a couple of days ago but the videos came out all odd and so I lost the footage but here I am I'm level 80 I'm playing a barbarian so before we do anything let's just get into what my build is I suppose so I'm going for a dual wielding frenzy build um, I'll go through my gear as well quickly but I have frenzy rank 12 which I believe is the max rank because I can't go any I can't put any more points into it, so I believe rank 12 is the highest. But anyway, I've got Frenzy, um, which is my obviously my uh, resource generation. And then I've gone for Double Swing, which is where I am going to be doing the majority of my damage, or big damage anyway. Um, and I am basically going for a stun build. So I use Ground Stomp to stun targets and that way I regenerate um, my resource, my fury, uh, when I use double swing. It, it's free, basically. Um, I'm enjoying the build, it's good. I've got a couple of shouts. Um, I'm not sure on this challenging shout. I'm debating whether or not to change it later, but I'm happy for the moment because I'm using thorns as well. So that's why I have this, um, and I'm enjoying thorns good i can just kill stuff without it <laughs> without, without doing anything or it helps me kill things quicker anyway at least um and i've got war cry obviously to extend uh to uh increase my damage also grants me berserking and then my ultimate is wrath of the berserker which just increases the damage that i do while i'm berserking um and then unconstrained which increases the berserker duration so in terms of paragon i won't go through everything on here but i've gone for the boards um how do you see the board name i don't know if you can see the board name but anyway so i've got on here um just this uh, this is just for increased uh, damage against vulnerable enemies so anyway let's have a look at some of the um gear that i have so i was really annoyed like i said i was doing some <laughs> i was doing some recording and I actually this dropped during the record um the, but i've lost the video so that's unfortunate but i've just received this um which is gonna work for my build fantastic it's not got the best rolls on it it's kind of middle of the road to be honest um towards the lower end even but Yes, it's uh, it allows basically if I'm if I'm already berserking and then I berserk again or I gain berserking again, then I have a 46% chance to become more enraged, which just increases my damage and my cooldown. So again, like I said, all of my armor's got thorns in it. Um, just to remind you guys, I don't uh, I don't look at builds online. I, I generally don't look at um, guides or anything like that. I just I just play what I play for fun. Um, I'm certainly not here to teach you guys the best way to play Diablo 4. And um, there is no best way. The best way for me is what you find fun. And I am enjoying this build. So I did buy some platinum. I bought the 200, 2500 with the 300 free platinums. Because I figured if um if each season you actually get 700 platinum for free when you do that then that allows you to play as long as you only buy the um as long as when the season comes up you buy the 1000 platinum 
um, version and not the accelerated version then you can actually make that 2800 last for i think six or seven seasons so i figured you know what I, you know i i swore to myself that i was not going to give blizzard any more money i kind of don't normally buy these sorts of things but i figured if i'm going to be playing it for any length of time then why not i spend more on dinners out and things anyway so i have completed this track um but i haven't completed the the journey up here um which i need to do um and i'm currently working on this now i'm very close to finishing the cinders um the veteran of ashes up so i'll do that i've done three of the world bosses so i'll be doing them um, i'm going to be working towards the 12 world bosses for this one as well and i've done some stuff in here but so the first order of the day is to carry on collecting some um forgotten what they're called some stuff from the hell tide <laughs> this is how little i've played this game that i i still don't know the names for everything uh, but i'm really enjoying this build um seems pretty fast at clearing things to me and it pings because i've got vulnerability set up to when i damage things um which i believe actually before i get into it is coming from one of my pieces of gear or might even be a skill i don't remember now it must be a skill anyway i will find that later um yes uh it, it just pings off everything becomes vulnerable on the screen so it's it's really good i'm enjoying it so anyway let's go and pick up what are these called this is bugging me what are these called um cinders that's the one cinders Not while i'm in town i've already collected the 10 pieces of gear that were in this season so obviously season of blood finishes in nine days as of recording that is Yeah, you see, it's pretty quick for me. <laughs> now, yeah, season of blood finishes in oh, on uh, January twenty fourth, and immediately the new season will begin, which I will definitely be covering. That looking forward to it. Like I said, don't keep up that much with the news. I know that Blizzard are doing a live stream on the 18th, so I'm not really concentrating on here. <laughs> you need to kill these things, sorry, I was talking. Um, yes, I know that they are doing a live stream on the uh, 20, on the 18th of January, so that should give us some more details, but I'm looking forward to it. Anyway. Let's get a move on and start collecting these. I'm not ready yet. So I think I need now about another 600 ish. I'll have a look again in a bit. So, yeah, this build is basically centered around making things vulnerable, stunning things, uh, having those having a chance to my stuns to spread to other things um, and yeah and just annihilating everything like I said I'm sure it's not anywhere near the most optimum build but I like it it's fun and later on I will be doing some hell tides oh not hell tides sorry nightmare dungeon I'm up to like number 24 I believe now. So yeah that helmet really works well on this build because because I've managed to make my I can make berserk last almost indefinitely And so, and I have two or three different ways to make myself go berserk. Um, so it should work really well for this build. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so 
the decision I have here is do I go for Fortify first or do I go for Fury? I think I'm going to head to Fury first. This will be my last board. I don't want to do another board, I don't think, because I want to... I need to build... I need to fill out this one and get more strength here in the surrounding area to make this one work. I haven't fully looked at this one in depth at the moment. Um, it's not perfect by any means, um, but I'm pretty happy with it. But maybe some things in there will change later. Well, that's the longest I've ran without seeing us oh, because I'm going back the way that I came. I was going to say I have. I don't normally run that long without seeing anything. Alright, let's go somewhere. Oh wait, here we go. So I do play this game from China currently. Um, which is why I have the latency on down in the bottom hand corner. Because of lag <laughs> it's also why i don't play hardcore which um when i leave here i absolutely will be back on hardcore hardcore is the way i like to play arpgs um i exclusively played grim dawn um, i haven't played much um path of exile to be honest really looking forward do Titan Quest 2 whenever that releases as long as it as long as it honors the original game that was that was the game to be honest I never really played Diablo 2 um, Titan Quest was the game that got me into ARPGs so looking to see what they do with that interesting Let me check how many of these cinders I actually need. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I'm not ready yet. There's about another 300 I need. 360. Just if you didn't see that there. So another 300 and then we are done getting a bit tired of doing these hell tides to be honest um i know people have issues with with diablo 4 about its depth um about its end game what i really dislike is that the the paragon system in d3 the paragon system you can just keep building your character on and on or, you know keep leveling them up infinitely um, the fact that you've got limited levels in Paragon, I think, takes something away. And I think what would be really good is if they actually allowed you to, you know, to take your characters from one season to the next. Um, keep with the same characters. I think that's a bad decision, in my opinion, to do that. And like I say, they they could simply they could simply make it so that you um, so that you gain paragons infinitely. Um, I'm not sure why they made that design design choice to move away from that. Because ultimately, once you get to level 100, then you know you're you're just uh, grinding for gear and then even once you've got all the gear 
you know, how much further are you pushing and developing that character? Not much. Um, so they put a limit on themselves, to be honest. Who knows? Maybe it will change. The city event? I don't want to do the city event. Yeah, it is. I don't want to do this. Ah, let's do it. I'm here now. <laughs> Watch out! Them off. I shall. I don't like this event here. So. Monsters spawn too far away and then you gotta run backwards and forwards. It's a bit frustrating. So 300 it was, so I've got approaching close to 200 left, and then we can go and do some Nightmare Dungeons. Try and start getting closer to the 50 that I need to. There's a chest down there, so I'll go check out that chest. Yeah, in regards to season uh, three, I have no idea what they're going to be doing. They did release that very short video on Twitter, or X, I should call it. Um, that I'm sure was... <laughs> I don't see how they... If you haven't seen it, it's basically showing a series of rotating cogs. Um which obviously the company um, I've forgotten their name now anyway the Path of Exile company I've forgotten their name <laughs> was it gaming? I can't remember but their intro for their games are very similar because their company because their company name um, I will remember it later but I don't see how that's just a coincidence. I think there's something planned there. Who knows? But 
but it did have a very uh i don't know whether that means the yeah i don't know how that fits into what they're going to be doing in terms of theme um i must work yeah interested to see i will be looking at that watching the live stream um and i might do a video on it as well covering what they uh went through Take it, free gear. Guess I was just in range when that person was uh, killing things. So what we do know about season three is that they are introducing ladders so that would be good not sure how much i'll partake in that like i said i'm not i'm by no means the best player on diablo 4. i certainly don't pay enough attention to builds and things to be able to um compete at the highest level i do this for fun um, but I'll probably have a dabble. I must wait. That took a long time to kill that. That uh, treasure goblin. Longer than it takes to kill bosses. We've got in some gear here. I tend to not look at the gear as I'm not doing ready. things like this. Um, i just wait till I get back to camp and sort it all out then. really need to find some I chests so I can actually spend some of these symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Where am I? I need to be down here, don't I? This this place is horrible. This is where I need to go. With these little tiny um, areas, you want a big open space, or I want a big open space. Anyway, that, that means you get bigger, bigger mobs. Not bigger mobs, bigger packs of mobs. <laughs> I can't. Do Pretty that sure either. the area has no. Uh... So where do I want to go? Yeah, this. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Don't like this whole area in general. This. This. Yeah. Don't like these. Twisty narrow corridor areas. Prefer the open spaces. There we go, there's a chest. Made my way down there quickly. Yeah, I also found an amulet. The the reason I had I didn't show you guys that actually, did I? Um I have a uh, amulet. The amulet of balance battle trance um that's where i'm getting my 
uh, stacks of frenzy from plus seven plus seven on frenzy I believe it was seven ranks that is So, what do I have here? I'm heading over here. Now, I need some willpower for this node. So, let's go here. I'm not ready yet. I was doing a hell tide again in the video that I lost. Um, there was a lot more events. It was up in the northeast of the map. Uh, up here. Much better up there. Here it seems very uh, disjointed. Not Doesn't flow very well, I feel. Um, a bit frustrating, actually. I must wait. Yeah, it's a shame that also as well, I know that the um, the skills and things, so your packs that you have don't carry over. I'll just go through my packs quickly. I didn't go over that, did I? So I have uh, Moonrise, which is, again, um, when I... Uh, it gives me 4% attack speed, but they also generate stacks once they get to 5. It also puts me into a Blood Rage, which increases my basic skill damage and movement speed and I have domination which is increased damage to stunned uh, stunned enemies which is useful for me again and I have hectic which reduces one of my skills by by two seconds Let's just deal with this quickly okay, thank you thank you thank you and yeah, and then I have Hemomancy, uh, which is basically I deal 80% of my maximum life as physical damage and also undying, which is my kill on heal. So I do know that when I... whoops, did not mean to push that. I do know that when those powers are gone, if I'm going to continue this in the main game on Eternium, on the Eternal Realm, then I will have to change some things on it obviously but i probably won't be doing that i will be looking to start season three i'm excited for season three to be honest interesting to see the new leader boards and not that i'll be doing them that much like i said but still Good in-game content is always uh, welcome. There we go. That's a bit more like it. More mobs. That's what we need. Oh. Ah, damn. Should have waited till it stopped. Whoa. I must wait. Don't know what that was, but that got a bit hairy. Too busy trying <laughs> to chase that uh, 
goblin it wasn't really watching what I was running into but we survived that was close that was very close guess the goblin is now run away Little bugger. Get on the horsey and go have a look. Over here. Oh, another chest. Not ready yet. Um, must be nearly there with the cinders now. Must be approaching the last 100 that I need. Yeah, let's have a look actually quickly how um, how that's coming along. Have I finished it? Did I finish it already? Oh, I did. Excellent. Then why am I still here? <laughs> let's get out of here. Well, let's... Uh, can I be bothered to find another chest? Oh, there's some over there. Uh, you know what? Uh, that's, that's quite a lot to just waste, isn't it? Let's go over there quickly then. I need more time. Am I heading in the right direction? I think I am. I need more time. Ah, let's do this event. One thing I think I do need to work on on this build is his mobility. He's um, outside of when I don't have my ultimate on. His mobility is not very good. So that is something I would like to improve. Here we get closer. Now if these are the 100. 25 ones. go up to this last one and then I'm gonna leave get the hell out of dodge
Ah, yeah. There's always one. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I don't want to be here. All right. And my back full. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Actually, let's go to Kovyashad. However you pronounce it. If you hear strange sounds, that's me drinking my uh, cup of tea. Okay. Now I appreciate that some of these uh, things might be better than some of the yellows, the the magics might be better than what I've got on. But like I said, uh, okay, I don't want that. That's good salvage. Don't want that. I do not want that. Mm. Strength. Increased berserking duration again. Do I need? Yeah, I'll be losing four ranks of war cry, but not very much extra damage. I do not believe that that is worth it. Um, nope. You can take what's left. Nope. No, I've got more. No, I don't need that. Um no. apart nicely. Nope. Most of this is just garbage. Well not most of it, all of it. I think I might need that fire that no, I've got better salvage. ones than that, that's on the low end. Okay, so not much going on there. Okay, so what we are going to do is head to a nightmare dungeon. I do have these to use. Now I know that there's some bosses and things that are, uh, that obviously that I need to kill. I did try doing the one under the whispering tree and got absolutely battered. Um even though it said it was level 75. Let me look again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it... Yeah, it just it really killed me. I could... I could try again, but it was one-shotting me. Um, not quite sure I want to go back there just yet. And there were some other bosses as well. Uh, more on here. Dur Duriel. <laughs> Who else? Oh, the Echo of Lilith. And I thought there was also... Oh, dear, yes, here. Um, maybe I could. Maybe I could go and try and have a crack at him. I've got the... I've got the exquisite blood now. I'm not sure if you need to be level 100 for it though. I'm a bit concerned that if I try. Now I believe you summon him from here in the darkened way. Is that what it said? I should have read. Zia, where is he? Um, here. Summoned in Fracture Peaks with exquisite blood from four torment doesn't actually say where I summoned him though. Hmm. I thought I must have read that somewhere. Maybe it's on here. Ah yes, here. Use an ancient seat. 
within the darkened way and fractured peaks to summon a powerful enemy requires nine collected from world bosses and legion events okay so yeah i don't know should i do it or not you know what let's do this tier 26 first see how i get on in there um yep let's do this i want to well, let's have a look when we get there see what i need to drink one thing i don't often do is drink potions i keep forgetting <laughs> i know they just if anything they're useful just for the five percent extra xp um but i do just keep forgetting to do it um i think when i get there i can't do that here There's a couple that I can drink. Come on, let me sprint. Thank you. Didn't mean to do it quite like that. I need okay. more time. Never pass up an opportunity to smash a goblin in there. Okay, here we go. Leviathans are more. Um, okay. So what do I want to drink? That's a good one. I want to keep those. Why am I not really that? You know what? Let's just drink one of these. A resistance. Ocean. Definitely need to work on his mobility outside. It's okay when I've got my um, when I have my ultimate up. Oh, see another treasure goblin. Oh no 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 no! I didn't see him on the map until it was too late. Oh well, never mind. Boop. Why is this flashing? What's it? I don't know. But yeah, please uh, do need to do something for the end game. I I feel. Uh, I'm not ready yet. I'm having fun in the game. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it, and I. Uh, Again, I know it's certainly not as in-depth as as Path of Exile and, and even Grim Dawn, which is a much older game. Um, and so they do need to look at that, to be honest. But one thing you can't fault is, is the combat. I think the combat flows really well. It's something they've always been good at. Um, like Grim Dawn, I love the depth in Grim Dawn. 
but it's just it feels slow and it is an older game and i am looking forward to the expansion when that comes out If you want me to cover that game, Grimdog, on this channel, let me know. I'm low on fury. Whoa. Wow, you hit hard. Was not expecting that. You have to remember, I am uh, not out in the open world now. Get a little bit more careful. So judging by this, I think I can easily go up to, um, I'll probably craft some higher tiers. Ran hard and fast from my old I want to set up shop in and I went out. I can't live in this swamp. I can't stay and I can't leave without money. Found these warrants by accident. What a treasure. I can sell everything I find and leave. But there's someone else, more than one person, hunting for something. And I think if they find me, it won't go well. I must run. Nice, that went well. So this is a kill everything. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up to this. I'm not having that much trouble in here. I think maybe I can go up to... I don't, I don't know. Like I said, this is actually the first time when I played the game on release, I didn't get anywhere near the Nightmare Dungeons. I didn't, I didn't use them. So, um... I'm a bit new to it all and uh, so I can't I can't I have no I have no measure I've got nothing to measure my my character against so to speak um, but I think I think judging from what I've seen in here 30 going up another four levels probably seems appropriate to me why sometimes my character gets stuck. I also play on control pad if you haven't noticed as well. I prefer control pad, it's just more relaxing. Um, it's a bit annoying in the uh, in the menus, which is sometimes where I just switch the mouse quickly. What I would like to see the bad is a uh... now whether it be on the store. I guess not the store. That would be bad, actually. Yeah, not the store. But uh, you know, like a uh, where you can um, maybe perhaps unlock your own treasure goblin that you can sell stuff to, while you around. So you can break stuff down while you're in a dungeon, or you can just sell it. One more to go, and then we can go to the boss, I believe. You hiding in the corner. 
I'd be hiding in the corner as well if I just saw my friends dying. Oh. Oh, okay. There was no boss. That was it. Oh, it's a shame. I like killing bosses. Okay. So... I want to keep up-leveling this one. I <laughs> I like this one because this is what's giving me so on my thorns and things when a ranged attacker hits me now I know thorns is um, meant for direct damage or close is it close damage or direct damage let me have a look at that actually because this is what I was getting confused about why how I'm able to make everything on the screen vulnerable um now why isn't it telling me what thorns is doing here weird okay let's go to character it would be in here then won't it Thorns, 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 thorns. Do's damage to attacks. Oh, direct attacks. Okay, so that's why then. That explains it. Now that makes it, that's clearer for me. Uh, yes, I want this. Maximum fury. So, yes, that is clear. So that is what is giving me the ability to make everything on the screen vulnerable. Because obviously once the ranged stuff hits me, it's really good. I like it. Um, and usually it's only for three seconds once per it can only happen once per 20 seconds but usually they're dead within those three seconds so it works really well um, yeah I have this one equipped I haven't leveled it up yet but I'm just trying to get this one to 15 purely for the um, expansion so, so, so it will expand um on the board which i've got it in here um i don't really know why 35 dexterity so i'll purchase some more how much more dexterity is there here just one two <laughs> seems hardly worth it to be honest hey ho it's okay whatever anyway I think we got time for one more. When is the next world boss? I thought one and a half nine, so one o'clock. Okay, okay, okay. It's one o'clock my time. What am I doing? Let's go back to town. Yeah, definitely I think I can go up to maybe maybe 20 maybe 30 maybe 30 do i risk it? For it okay let's see what we got here that was garbage stunning a bleeding enemy see this is something that i might build in put into my build later but perhaps not in any case I don't want it for now, so let's just get rid of it. That's pretty good. I might extract that um, legendary power. Don't want that. Um, this is actually not a bad, a bad item. The ranks of whirlwind maybe I can change them if I can change those I might actually take that swap them out mm, let's go have a look what can I swap whirlwind for do I want to do that though I'm using those precious resources on something that's not amazing uh, 
Yeah, everything's at the low end. The three ranks are double swing, though. Is nice. You put me up to ten. It's going to be good damage. Let's have a look. Let's do it. Um. Okay, let's do it. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, 31% damage to increase. No, I want 9.6 attack speed, I think. Yes. Okay. So let's equip those. Um, good, I don't need to change any of that now. This is the s when there are at least five enemies, close enemies, stun them. So do I want to replace that or not? Power has actually dropped, but in those, I guess because of the um, strength and the willpower. Hmm. I'm not going to destroy these yet. I'm going to check. I want to see how well this goes. Probably might not even notice any difference. All right. What I do want to do is you, I want to, I oh know so wrong tab. That's why um, I want to get rid of some of these. Now that I know I'm okay with the 26s. Oh, there's a 29. Oh, so maybe I don't need to craft. So let's do that. That's what we're going to do next. We are going to go and do this one. So what is it? Physical damage. Nice. That's good for me. Ugh, I hate things that chase you. I hope it's not that rock thing. It's so annoying. Actually, that's pretty handy. That monster's becoming unstoppable when life drops because I do damage to um, unstoppable enemies, so that's handy. Let's do it. Let's have a crack at this. Oh, same dungeon again. It's a little bit annoying. Didn't even see that. I think I'll keep with the same potion. I can't do that here. See how we get on. Oh, it is that. Oh, I hate this thing. Just follows you around and then when it gets to you. It's not too bad. Um, it's not as annoying as the white one. There's a white disc. Looks like a halo that follows you around. And then um, you've got to run underneath it to shield yourself. Because it sends a shock out to you. The most difficult one, to be honest, especially for melee, I believe, is the one where the enemies can explode after a shortened period of time. That one's really quite annoying for, I found anyway, for, for my build. Because I'm in amongst everything. And it's quite dangerous. It slows down the clearing time anyway, at least. Okay. Let's just do this one quickly. Ah, oh, you guys, come on! 
No, 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 quick, 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 quick. Way close. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm just going to do this one quickly. I'm going to clear the whole dungeon again. From my old crew. They wanted to set up shop in Benjinani, and I want out. I can't live in the swamp. I can't stay, and I can't leave without money. Found these warriors by accident, but what a treasure. I can sell everything I find in the moon. But there's someone else, more than one person here. Hunting of course I run into the dead end. <laughs> and I think if they find me, it won't go well. Here it is. Oh, stone, come on. Yeah, I, I would like to play this on hardcore. Like I said, it's how I usually play these games. I just, I don't know, I like it. I feel it's, it opens up a different part of the game because right now I can just stack everything into attack basically and not care. Um, whereas I feel when you, when you play on hardcore, you have to, have to play more defensively I think maybe more tactically as well I suppose and and plus there's that buzz of just risk ward as well um, but but I can't do it uh, not playing from China I have to use yeah not playing from China the um, connection's stable for the most part but I have already died on this character due to lag um, not for a while though but it's just not worth the risk I must wait I don't have enough fury I see you hiding over here. Almost missed you. Whoa. Still stuff coming out of that chest. <laughs> no, we just keep attacking you. Uh, oh, what are you? This is why I don't like this thing. Gets right in the way all the time. Blasted rock. I like those, they're great. It'd be more enjoyable if that rock wasn't there hitting you all the time. Whoa. helping my build with the berserk and increasing the damage in that such a good find the necklace too so lucky to find my first two unique um 
I don't know how lucky that is. Getting very lucky uh, that the first two ancestral uniques that I find are two things that I that have just absolutely worked perfectly for my build. Two there. Excellente. Let's do that one again, I guess. Got some Paragon points again. There we go, we're nearly there. And then I'm going to head over here. And I don't think I'm going to do another board, like I said. Um there is here so I can walk up towards that but I don't know oh yes I want the resistances potentially see I do have to come up here which will come at, at from this angle I guess um, and honestly after I've done that I don't think I'm going to have enough I need to fill out here to get the extra bonus from there hmm which is only an, an additional 8% increased damage. But 8%'s not nothing. Alright. Oh, it always confuses me with the map that it's in the main game area when and it's. Uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> Where is it? Up here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, I don't think I want that now. I was pretty happy with how that was... How that was going. I thought I had... Yes, I need to change this... Here. I think I'm going to extract that and chuck it on here. That's pretty cool. Mm, right. I want that thorns. Okay, there's some movement speed. So... Ten percent movement speed, fifteen percent. Yeah, but I lose the. I don't want dodge. I want things to hit me. <laughs> I might try and re-roll that eighteen percent on the ones that I already have, because that's got thirty-eight percent damage to enemies when they're unstoppable. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to extract that. I want to get rid of that. I want to extract that. And get rid of that. Okay, let's go. I don't know, again, I don't know if I'm doing this efficiently when you, uh, like, extracting these legendary... Um, the aspects they're called, aren't they? Uh, 
Um, yeah, I don't know whether I should be saving them for later or not. I don't think it is worth re-rolling that they're going to be get changed soon. Um, yeah, I really need... I really need uh, some better... Some better boots and a chest plate, really. Everything else I'm kind of happy with at the moment. Not bad. Let's have a look what aspects I do have. Oh, here they are. And I've got more in my in my um storage. Uh, oh yeah, I don't want those. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I won't bore you with that while I look through all of those things. I'll do that off off camera. Okay, I think I'm just about ready to cool it here, but I think as one last one last um fight, I'm gonna try and have a crack at doing at summoning that guy and seeing how it goes. I'm sure I'll get beaten into a pulp. Um, who knows? Okay. I can't do that here. <laughs> oh. Glad I checked, I was heading right the wrong way then. I'm out of fury. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what happens. That's also another uh, another thing with hardcore and on, on Grim Dawn. I've lost so many characters attacking bosses that um, they just murder you. Now I'm not actually sure where this seat is. I need to have a look at the map quickly. Um, ancient seat, level eighty. Okay, maybe maybe. Mind you, the other one said level seventy-five. And destroyed me. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Of course, I remember where I'm going. It's the, the main, the main story for the season, isn't it? Which I quite like the story, actually. Um, if I'm honest, I thought it was, it was, it was good. Sure, obviously, but it was quite good. I definitely am looking forward to season... Is it season three? I think it is season three, right? This was season two. I really am looking forward to that. Seeing what they bring. At least I haven't got anything chasing me around this time. There's a tip for you as well for anyone that is doing the Berserker build and you haven't realised if you uh, you can extend. You don't have to hit monsters to extend the Berserk or Berserking. Urns or anything, any destructible thing will also do it. Where the hell? Oh god. Completely missed it. Yeah, you can hit also uh, just any, anything, any destructible scenery in the environment um, also extends it. Just ran straight past this, didn't even see it. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's see how quickly I get murdered. I know I need nine of them. 
have 12. I'll do the boss again at 1 o'clock anyway, so... Let's see. So far, it's going better than the other one. Oh. Yeah, that hurt though. Stun him. If I can stun him, then I've got him. I think I've got him anyway. So stun him would just make it a little bit more relaxing. Whoa! Christ! There we go. Woohoo! Okay, we did it. So maybe I'll go back to the Tree of Whispers and have a look at that in the next video. Alrighty guys, we're gonna, well, let's just have a look at the loot. What loot did we get? Um, I think I picked that up from the treasure goblin. That's handy to have, I have that. Um, I've got that already. That's that's also helping me with some, with some bleeding stuff that I've got set up. Oh wow, ancestral unique gloves. Yeah, not good for me, whirlwind. I might keep them though, if I ever do a whirlwind build. Not bad. Pretty high, no, low rolls. No, 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 pretty, pretty good. Quite high rolls, actually. No, no, mm. kind of in between. Well, there we go. We've got one, uh, one ancestral unique. So yeah, we are going to call it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. If you want me to cover more on Diablo 4 of my journey through Diablo 4, please um, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe if you like my content. And I will see you next time, guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.